On October 20th, 2017, the world's leading corporate stars reunited for a special occasion, the 37th Le Fonti Awards in London. A celebration, Le Fonti Awards are held each year, recognizing industry leaders in the fields of banking, business, economics, finance, sustainability, law, healthcare, insurance and e-commerce. This year, the London Gala and CEO Summit was held at the London Stock Exchange, a prestigious location situated in the city of London, hosted by the influential journalist Jenny Hammond of Sky. Okay, so up next we have Forex Broker of the Year, and that is for Active Trade, so if they'd like to uh, make his way up, I'll get there, for aiming to maximize its clients' trading through a unique mix of superior value proposition, diverse product offering, and stellar customer service. So. Um, I didn't actually prepare a speech, but uh, I have to, to follow on those brilliant ones earlier uh, with a few words. So I would say thank you very much. Uh, very proud to be receiving the award, uh, the award in my name and in the name of my colleagues here in the room as well. Uh, it's very exciting times for us. Um, we are growing. Uh, we are launching new products. Um, our office in Dubai as well is doing extremely well. So really happy to be receiving the awards and, uh, and grateful, yes. Thank you very much. Well, I'm now here with Ricardo Evangelista at the Lafonti Awards. So, Ricardo, congratulations. You have won the Forex Broker of the Year. So, what would you attribute to your success? Well, thank you very much. Um, before anything else, just say thank you and uh, uh, emphasize that we are really happy to, to be receiving this, uh, this award. Um, we see it as a, a reflection of the hard work we're putting in uh, since 2001 when the company first started. And uh, now we're starting to, uh, to see exponential growth year on year. And, uh, and it's great, it's great to be receiving this award. It's another, another sign that uh, things are going well for us. So how does the Forex landscape lie at the moment? I mean, you know, how's the industry? Um, the Forex market itself um, is perhaps less dynamic than it has been uh, in the past. Uh, this is to do with a number of factors, uh, maybe additional interest on the part of the investors for other types of assets. Uh, so we see equities, for example, at the moment are rising and rising. Uh, and so maybe the forex market itself uh, has suffered very slightly, uh, maybe a very slight reduction uh, in terms of volatility. Uh, however, it's still the most liquid uh, market in the world. Um, there's another side to the way things are going regarding our industry, which is to do with the regulatory environment. Yeah. Um, so that's... Uh, MIFID 2 coming into play next year? Exactly. <laughs> uh, MIFID 2, ESMA coming up uh, early next year, so we are expecting some changes. Um, we see it as a very positive uh, step, and uh, we're also pleased to see that it is um, a global trend, so not just the FCA in the UK. We, we have an office in Dubai as well, and we're regulated there too. And uh, the DFSA, for example, in Dubai is adopting a similar stance to what we're finding with, uh, with the FCA at the moment. So uh, uh, a lot of emphasis on you know, uh, looking after clients, you know, treating them fairly, uh, having fair trading conditions, minimizing the risk. Um, because in the past, uh, unfortunately, our industry has had uh, perhaps some less happy moments with some operators coming in and uh, overseeing some of these basics. Yeah. Well, we've had LIBOR, and, but that's hopefully behind us now. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so, uh, so I would say the atmosphere at the moment regarding our industry is, uh, is positive with the changes uh, in regulation. It's challenging, but positive. I think it will sort the, the good from the, from the less good. And uh, ultimately, will be beneficial for the companies that do things in the right way, and uh, above all, uh, and most importantly, to the to the traders as well. Good. Well, I want to ask one final question to you, and that's about future goals. I mean, uh, okay. I don't know if you have these. You've already got this award, so we do. We do have future goals. Um, we have uh, at the moment a, a new platform that we just launched uh, in addition to the MetaTrader platforms. What's this called? Uh, it's called Active Trader. Uh, so that's been launched. Uh, also, we are um, improving 
the range of trading tools we have, our set of smart tools is constantly being improved. Uh, we are expanding the range of our products, um, so we launched very recently uh, additional uh, shares, shares from additional markets which we didn't have before, like for example Spain. Uh, we have also um, added uh, cash indices, meaning uh, traders can speculate around the clock yeah. 24 hours a day, not just when the, the exchanges are open. And uh, very soon we'll be launching cryptocurrencies as well. So we are quite excited. Yes, so we're quite uh, we're quite excited about that. And uh, of course we'll maintain as well our uh, our uh, training and educational programs. So with uh, webinars, seminars around the world in several languages. Uh, yes, yeah, so a lot of projects to look forward to.